one down, three to go, and uh, I won't bore you with the footage, so I'll just bring it back when we go ahead and load it. So we got everything kind of stitch welded up. I've marked out where my four bolt holes are going to be and center punched them. You can see that. So we're going to start with a small pilot bit and then we're going to work our way up to some probably dull step bit to hog our way through, the, through there. I like using these a lot because you can really remove a lot of material quick. The one thing you want to be conscious of is when you're going through drilling this, you want to do it at a low speed on your drill. If you just go full speed right out the gate, you're going to burn your bit up immediately and you're not going to make it through. So I'll set you up and drill some holes. first pilot hole it took 10 minutes so we're gonna do the other three and then we're gonna hog out to the bigger size I won't make you guys watch it but I'll bring it back and we're done all right back for day two um, so we ended up finished getting our plate drilled out I'll show you that here so we got our holes drilled where we wanted them and next what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring our skid steer in here and we're gonna bolt this up underneath it and transfer the holes inside now something I use for this is what's called a transfer punch and they make these you know for every size hole basically and if you can see focus there's a point on the end of there so what you can do is after you get this marked up you can slide this in your hole hit it with a hammer and uh, it'll transfer your holes to the inside exactly where they um, are on the plate so it works tremendously well Let's go ahead and bring the skid steer in and get it all mocked up. All right, I wasn't really sure how this would actually work, but so far it's actually kind of working. So I got it held up there, so now I just got to get a transfer punch through there. We don't have a whole lot of room for it, so we'll see what happens. <laughs>
fourth mark didn't come out at all. The other ones came out clear as day. I don't know why that one didn't come out. But I think for that last one, I'll just go ahead and measure it and call it good enough. It's okay, this point gets time lapse. All right, everyone, just so you can see, those are bolted up in there, pretty easy. So that's all we have time for today. We completed our project. Um, not sure what I have on the docket next. I always got projects around here, so I'm sure it'll be something, but we'll cross that off the list and we'll get going on to the next thing. See ya.